So for a while I've been telling everybody I've been thinking about going to New York and trying a real authentic chopped cheese. Everybody's telling me to go try this Instagram, TikTok dude, General Ock or whatever. You know, the nigga that be like, sure, sure, check out my food, man. You know that dude, bro. Like, I'm going to pull him up right now. Yes, sir, man. I'll help you today. Yes, sir, Aki. Let me get the jerk chopped cheese the Aki way. Sure. First, we put the burger on the ground. Then we put the sweet peppers on the ground. Then we put the... I seen enough y'all I honestly don't want to go and look at the catalog bro and look at everything he got I'm going for one thing and one thing only bro a chopped cheese yo this food better be good y'all because it's a long drive and I'm really doing this for the culture bro All right, y'all, look, we finally here and shit. You know what I'm saying? Quick four hour drive. Yo. What it do? What's good What's with up, you? Man? You good? You good? Yeah. You good, bro. How you feeling, buddy? Hey, you see it. You see it. I'm gonna let y'all know what this y'all hitting off of, y'all. No, 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 look, y'all see it. Y'all see it. So I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. I feel like the spot kind of get blown up because the people in the front asked me for a photo and then the dude in the front, he looked over. So, you know what I'm saying? I think he know exactly who I am. This is an awkward situation. But y'all can see the vibes, y'all. Long line. Y'all see we out and about New York with it real quick. I'm going to let y'all know what's good with this chopped cheese, y'all. So look, this is what a chopped cheese look like, y'all. It's some like crushed up hamburger meat, got some lettuce, some ketchup, some mayo, and you know what I'm saying? That's all it really looked like for real, for real. So it kind of remind me of a sloppy joe a little bit. That's because the ketchup is like crushed up inside of the chopped cheese. I'm not really a fan of ketchup. So I don't really want that to affect the review. I don't see no cheese in this though. I know it may be chopped inside the sandwich, but it ain't that much cheese. Y'all know what's crazy to me? Some people told me that this is the best chopped cheese in, in New York. They said go to Brooklyn, go check out this guy. This guy's real vicious with it. You know what I'm saying? He's TikTok famous and all the other stuff. But my first ever time having a chopped cheese, it was Kai's chopped cheese, y'all. In that AMP video. And I'm not gonna lie, Kai's tasted better than this. And he's not a chef. He's a YouTuber. So look, let's talk about the food from yesterday, y'all. I really didn't want to elaborate on the food because it's a small business. I don't really like criticizing small businesses because that's their bread and butter. You feel me? But y'all begged me to do this. I'm going to be honest, bro. I feel like the food was trash, bro. It wasn't good. Most of the time, like, Instagram famous food is not good. It just either looks good. That's what makes it go viral. Or, like, this guy, he has a, a good, funny personality. So, people, they, they kind of cling to it. They're like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Basically, he blew up for being funny. But the food ain't good. But I, was, I really wasn't going to say nothing. But wifey told me, she like, baby, you a food critic. Because I bought her one or two. I bought two of them. I gave it to her. She she wasted it. She threw it away. She said, this shit nasty. I said, I know. I ain't want to tell them in a review. She was like, baby, you a critic. I said, you right. I am. I got exposed to this shit. This motherfucker food nasty. Damn. I didn't want to be the one to say it, but I'm peaks, bro. I do that. You feel me? I keep it real. That shit was nasty. Yeah. I needed to get that shit up off my chest. Yeah, that shit was gross. I hated it. So I know I just recently reviewed a burger, y'all. <clears throat> but there's a new spot called Burger Fire or whatever the fuck. I'm going to try that out real quick. Let y'all know how I'm feeling about that. Chopped cheese was an L. But Burger Fire might be a W. So I ain't gonna hold y'all. Hey, I ain't never heard of this spot before. A couple people told me that this don't righteous. 
BGR closing down for whatever reason. That, that was my favorite burgers around town. But that joint about to be gone. I'm gonna let y'all know if it's the new spot. Hey, hey look, my man got the old school joint. You already know how you <laughs> Boom, look, 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 my man got the, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, he had a, he had a film. <laughs> he had, I yeah, thought he was out of film. Yeah, we see All right, y'all. All right, y'all, we finally had the burger fire real quick. Let y'all know what's up with it. You know what I'm saying? Oops. All right, y'all. I'm actually going to hit the cut for this review, y'all. Because, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of packed out here. It's flooded. And I'm trying to have a little bit of privacy with the review. All right, y'all, now that I got a little bit of privacy and I'm in the cut, you already know what's about to go on, y'all. Hey, I had to sanitize my hands because, look, you already know. I'm dapping people up, but that monkey pox stuff outside, bro. If I wake up with barnacles all over my shit, bro, just know it was from dapping up people. So first, we got a little box that say Burger Fire on it. Bow! And then we got that brown paper bag. Look, I'ma let you know, whenever you see a brown paper bag, just know anything could be in that. It could be a 40 ounce, it could be some drugs, or it could be some food. Look, in my case, it's some food, you feel me? But let's see what this burger looking like, y'all. So Ray Charles could see that this hoochie mama looking scrum diddly umptious. They got burger fire tattooed into the bun. That's how you know that this burger is really with the shits, bro. It's got his company tattooed to its fucking buns, bro. So looking at this onion ring, it's a decent size, y'all. Very crispy. Look, the bread is falling up off that bad boy. It's legit. What I'm gonna do is, cause I, I normally don't eat, you know what I'm saying, onion rings just plain like this. I'm gonna try it plain. I'm gonna try it with some dipping sauce. The onion ring packed with flavor. However, the bread and won't stay on the onion ring. It's kind of disappointing, and it's real slippery, slimy. Feel like it's gonna slide out my hands like a like a bar of soap. I'm not really a fan of the texture of this. However, the flavor is not bad. The cheese is a little. It's not melted. You know what I'm saying? It's a little hard. Let's go ahead and dip the cheese in the onion ring. Cheese is gross. Back to the burger. We got two slabs of meat, some cheese. That burger fry sauce, lettuce, tomato, and that's about it. Let's see what the hype is about, y'all. Because they got rid of BGR for this. And it don't look crazy. We gonna see. So the first bite was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty juicy, pretty flavorful. It kind of reminds me of the Smash Burger a lot. Not really sure if they're getting their patties from the same people. But they probably have a lot of similarities. As you can see, the sauce is kind of like an orange tint. I'm not an idiot. The sauce is literally mayo and ketchup combined. It's gonna get like a seven out of 10, y'all. Oh yeah, them onion rings get like a four out of 10, y'all. I would never get them again. The bread and was all right, but they was way too slimy. I wasn't feeling the texture and they could have had a bit more flavor, you feel me? 